hello welcome to quantious nepal youtube channel today i'm gonna show you cascading logs and how to auto capture date and time and household roster and its associated logic for this i'm gonna do the same thing as we have done in the first video like create a new application uh, capi a data entry application and i'm gonna save this program in cs pro day 2 and i also give i'm also gonna give i'm also giving name as same as the folder name cs pro day 02 and this very also same cs pro day 02 and i'm gonna create a program here is it so we also can change this like serial number sn and uh, length 2 and i am gonna modify this folder name as demographic information demographic information and another, another one is like household information section household information that's it info section this is for the all household member that belongs to a household that we are gonna be capture all the household members information so if you are preaching that there will be nine household members in a household so you can put nine in the maximum column if you, if you give here 21 then you can capture at most 21 household members information in this roster for this demonstration, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm presuming that there will be at most 9 family members in a household. So I'm going to put 9 in the max column and tap, you know. And I'm going to add some basic information in demographic section for this like district and local level. Local level wire number wire number and another one is like this question is for household roster how many members in your in your household and it's member and this is gonna be like length one and you can capture at most nine members in length one if you want to capture more than nine members then you can increase length up to two and just tab and tab and another question that i want to add is survey stat survey start date 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 and this should be alpha and then should be 10 for our logic and start time start time and this also should be alpha and then should be 10 for and the logic purpose and i'm gonna add some questions for the household information and this should be question number one is for the name of the first household member and so on name and uh, this should be alpha and then should be 25 
and question number two is for is and question two is for gender i'm gonna add only three questions for this uh, demo program and you can add so many questions as you required and now the form okay in this field we are gonna auto capture the stat date of the survey so for this we can use preprop preprop conditions and if logic is demo parenthesis open and close equal to one then uh, dollar sign you can use stat date instead of dollar so this is identical equal to edit so you can 99 is for date is for month and 49 is for year this date then you can use first is for date month and year you know and uh, another parenthesis cause and if no input is for like you don't need to input at this field and you can copy and paste the same logic in the start time section and you don't need to change more here and date and you don't need to give any second minute and hours so you just need to close the parenthesis here and this is it you know i'm gonna use dollars in here let's compile and try to make sure that logic is working or not it's successful right so it's completely working we can compile here and it's also working and for this text we're gonna use cascading logic and for this we need to add some data value set or data levels for like first district is for Gangkuta Gangkuta is for 1 and Sunsari is for 2 and I'm gonna add local levels associated with Dhankuta and Shunsari and I'm gonna add only two local levels for Dhankuta and one and so we see for two and I'm gonna add another local level for for some statistics so sub metro is first local level for Sunsari and another one is like Jahari sub metro is for another local level for sensory districts and this should be the unit one two three four this should be four and here if you select Dhankuta in the district field and then you have to display only these two local labels that are directly associated with Dhankuta district and if you select Sunsari in the district field then you have to display only these two local labels for this we in local level you have to use pre pro condition and pre pro if district equal to one is for Dhankuta then set value 
set value set parenthesis open dollar sign you can use this local level instead of dollars for now i'm going to use only dollar sign for this time and you can paste this value set name from here to here and you can close the parenthesis else else value set i can change this to or you can paste it from here and you need to in the statement let's compile so it's, it's also working you know we are, we are going to repeat the roster that are related to the number that we have entered in this questions you need to use flip flop condition as we have done before and we need to paste this one in here if C R if C circular O C C U O C C circular occurrence parenthesis close is greater than the number that we have entered in the household member field then in the group you know and in if that's all now we are going to test the program whether our logic are appropriately working or not let's try and data file name i'm going to give only data and okay serial number one so here you don't need to input any date and time it's automatically capture uh, the survey start date and time and you don't let's try to click don't put that here it's completely working you know if you select sensory and it's only displays three and four related to the sensory district and let's add dhankuta and it only displays the local level that are associated with the dhankuta and one over one and how many let's try to capture the information of this two household members information here and first one is like the gender is 23 gender 1 and um, you can draw uh, 22 and gender i just forgot to give value level for gender here and you can do yourself and now it's gonna be end and this is completely working let's try another one soon ready this one and one over two and if you input zero number here and that means there are no more family member in the household this is not a real case but we are going to check our logic is working or not so this should be in the survey you know it's completely working this is it for today i will be covering some more issues that are related to the quantitative issues and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel goodbye for today